Geometry 246, Points of Intersecting Loci. All right. How to satisfy the conditions for more than one locus at a time. Here's what you do. You construct a locus of the points that fulfills the first condition. Then you do it for the second condition. And then you determine the points that, contained, that are contained within the intersection of the two. All right. So let's look at my little squirrel thing we've got going on here, okay? So here's the park, and there's some parking meters here and a flagpole. So, a squirrel buried a walnut, oops, sorry about the focus there. A squirrel buried a walnut six feet from a flagpole and an equal distance from two parking meters. So to fulfill the first condition, we need to figure out what six feet from the flagpole is, and that could be anywhere in this circle. Okay, so the radius is six feet. So it's somewhere on this circle is where he buried it. But that's, two, that's 360 points that it could possibly be. You don't want to dig up 360 holes if you're, a little, if you're a little squirrel trying to find your walnut again. So we make our circle to show that six feet, and then we do the second part. It's equal distance from the two parking meters. So in order to be equal distance from the two parking meters, you draw a perpendicular line connecting the two and then intersecting with the six-foot circle. Okay? That's going to fulfill the second one. That means the two spots where the walnut could be is where it intersects the perpendicular line with the circle. Isn't that neat? So, he'll be able to find his walnut again. So that's what you do to save a little time and fulfill two conditions at once and how a squirrel can find a walnut. See you next video. Bye.